Hello, I'm Quentin Lister, and I'm sitting down today with Joe Marina from Glow with Joe, and we're going to talk a little bit about her journey um, into becoming a life coach and how she has helped um, other people who have been going through divorce and domestic relation cases as part of that, and how how being a life coach can help with or how a life coach can help in that situation. Um, but before we get going, I'm going to give her the opportunity to just give her contact information for those who would like to speak with her after this, after seeing this interview. So, thank you, Quentin. Yeah. Um, my name is Joe. I my company name is Glow with Joe. That's one W. The best number you can reach me at is eight zero one eight six four nine one seven zero. And an email you can contact me at will be contact at glowwithjoe.com. It's one W, so it's contact at g l o w i t h j o dot com. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we spoke a little bit beforehand, um, and you know, I just wanted to give you the opportunity to share a bit of your story and the message that you wanted other people to to take away from this today. And so, thank you. Time is yours. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to be able to share my heart and what has enticed me to. Um, decide to take this route with coaching people through the difficulties that we face and divorce is a large aspect of life uh, considering relationships are a large part of our ability to live as humans um, what I have noticed the most was so I am a child of divorce my parents got divorced when I was young and I remember how that impacted me so I was that kid and you know I've helped my friends and people that I know um, emotionally and mentally through such a big life change not really understanding it at the time um, but being able to recognize the deeper emotional issues that we suffer through while making such a large lifestyle change mm -hmm. um, there's so many different aspects to divorce you're going through change not only with yourself, obviously you're growing and changing and evolving. You have another person that's changing and evolving that you're thinking about and um, worrying about. You have to think about how your life is going to change at home. You have to think about how your life is going to change at work. You know, your social circle. There's all these things that are a grand, grander part of the picture rather than just the divorce itself. So I think having a coach and somebody there to support you and to be there for you to help you through your emotional stability while you're dealing with such a high stress change is essential. It's, I, don't, I, I personally don't understand how anybody gets through divorce without having somebody on their side and in their corner there for them while they're transitioning into such a different part of life. So, you know, the different aspects that I recognize that are key are, is the emotional state that we get into when divorce is happening. Our body gets into an emotional trigger response to where we don't make rational decisions. So while our body is transitioning through that, not only internally, but externally, having somebody there to support you, to encourage you, to strategize with you, to show you and to give you faith that there is hope on that other side of change. Mm -hmm. And to be able to offer that also to the children that are dealing with the product of divorce. Mm -hmm. So mental health in children has increased immensely, you know, with COVID and all those other things. They're dealing with their own issues, let alone something that their parents are going through, that are, their parents don't even know how to get through, mm -hmm. that are now getting projected onto the children. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important that parents take more responsibility with their own self-development and their self-identity crisis to change and grow so that they can offer that support to their children and be more present for them. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I've noticed a lot actually is, you know, as humans, when we're going through something, large change, uh, we usually kind of pull in. And as parents, where do you find that ability to pull in but also have to go out and be a parent? So I think taking care of not only your own mental health and having your own identity re-established okay. after your whole sense of identity is being crumbled. I think you get out of divorce a lot stronger, mm -hmm. healthier, and happier. And the divorce could go a lot more smoothly mm -hmm. if the two parties could regain emotional control and right. really um, grow from the experience right. rather than grow bitter from the experience. Right. Yeah. 
So I think it's essential yeah. to have a coach. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I know one one issue that we, we we talked about before this was kind of how sometimes life coaches have a bad rap or that it's kind of just chalked up to like some sort of new age science thing that <laughs> is very, it's like fat and trend based and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, quinoa is like the best food that was ever invented you know that kind of thing and so um yeah i how do you like so for you like what 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 is the importance of right just being of 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 understanding that a life coach isn't just like because obviously because as we've been talking it's clear that like you know you you have personal experience you know what you're what you're doing and so yeah what 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 is it about it that's that's important and unique and maybe sets it apart from something like say therapy or something like that oh thank you that's actually a great question i've noticed a lot of um it's easy to help somebody in a specific aspect of self in life Mm -hmm. so life coaches has kind of i think got really misled to what it really is and who's really living life the way like What I've come to recognize from it is, in a grand scheme of things, when you're even hiring a coach or anybody that you're going to lean on for support, one, it's important to do a lot of research into, you know, like, um, what does that person bring as far as energy goes? And I think at the root of it, there's a difference between having a coach and somebody telling you what to do and having a guide and a mentor and somebody that's helping you figure that out for yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think the most valuable part to coaching is creating lifestyle change, not just getting told what to do to create a specific result. And so it does get really misled um, as to, you know, life coaches, spiritual coaches, you have, you know, personal trainers, when in fact health is very integrational. Mm-hmm. And I think it's important to look at all specs, all aspects of life, not just one aspect. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and so, I guess for, you would say, and so maybe the benefit, this is, mm-hmm. so maybe just kind of the benefit of like going after the life coach as opposed to the therapist or whatever. So necessarily, like the therapist deals with specifically like the mental health <laughs> part of things, right? Mm-hmm. And, and what so with them with the life coach it's it's you're looking at a more holistic approach to health mental mm-hmm. isn't included in that but there's also other aspects as well yes is that is that accurate to say yes okay. yeah it's very integrative so you have to think about health you have different dimensions of wellness you have emotional mental physical social mm-hmm. environmental financial and vocational which mm-hmm. is occupational what you do for work if you take a look at all of those aspects Mm -hmm. most people are not at their peak in any of them let alone one two or even three and so finding that balance and alignment within self that's what a life that's what a good life coach does is help you strategize to come up with a plan and to remain in faith to execute the plan Mm -hmm. versus go and you know talk about your problems and your issues that's great we all need sounding boards we all need somebody to talk to But the power of a life coach is so extraordinary due to the fact that that we get to tap into different realms of ourselves that overall lead us to a better quality lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Something usually unknown that we don't even know exists. And that's what's hard. But that's what a coach does is paints that vision to let you know that this outcome is possible. So what's the mess that you see people going through a divorce in? And what do you often find yourself helping them with? Yeah, this is the guy off camera. <laughs> no, I love this Thank question. <laughs> yes, I love this question. It's interesting because it's it's triggers. You know, it's how do I not react and how do I respond? Really, that's it. So how do I, I just got a nasty email is what I hear. You know, I just got a nasty email. I want to just write back and say this so bad. Not knowing that that's that one thing that could honestly put you in a powerless position. So we all want to be in power. We all want power over our lives and control. And that's the one thing with divorce. You're losing. You lose all sense of power, control. It it leaves you at your most vulnerable. And so that's what's hard, I think, is people battling with vulnerability and their willingness to be vulnerable, 
but then also to take an ego hit and to lose per se. But losing is always a win, depending on the perspective and how you look at it. So I really think it's people battling with their own egos and their own selves that is the root of the largest part of it. Because it usually leads into, like whatever issue they were projecting out leads to an issue within themselves that they need to heal. Maybe had they taken that action 10 years prior, who knows what the outcome could have been before the damage had been done. So taking accountability for those faults as well that your ego presents mm -hmm. is hard for people to take a look at. I, I liked what you talked, you touched on the accountability. Um, what, what, what role do you see that for you specifically with, with mm -hmm. people, like it can be people who have gone through divorce cases or, or other domestic cases, like how, how can you see that, how important is that accountability for them to, to be successful beyond like their, their, their marriage that's ending, that kind mm -hmm. of thing? Does that question make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, accountability I think is something that everyone struggles with at times, mm -hmm. typically because we're not aware of our behavior. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is awareness and when we become aware of our behavior, to take a look at self and to recognize that we are the reason our lives are the way that they are. No other person externally can influence you enough to make a decision unless you personally choose to make that decision. So I think it's important in divorce to not throw things on others because you need to take a look at what your choice is, what you've allowed right. over time. And so accountability, most people don't do by themselves, let alone are they able to in relationships. So there's a lot of reflection that goes on with divorce. Mm -hmm. You take a look at the mirror. Wow, how did my life end up? I'm a failure. I couldn't keep my marriage. My kids are suffering academically. All these different components that can accumulate to what did I do? How did I do this? Mm -hmm. how, does, how did I make this mess? That's what accountability is. Instead of saying, I'm this way because you. My mom treat me this way, so that's why I'm this way. I think we need to really take a good look at how we, our actions, our habits, and our behaviors impact others and how they're impacting us in our lives. So I think accountability is huge, and I see that people that are 40 and 50 years old are barely coming into their sense of accountability. Um, that's, uh, that was a very powerful point for me. Thank you. Um, yeah. uh, I... I what other so as far as people who are, are interested in pursuing a life coach like what other things should they they look out for in or you t you mentioned one yeah about that and so anyway how, what kind of what two things could they look out for when they're trying to find a good life coach okay so two things i would definitely make sure of is take a look at that coach's lifestyle your lifestyle shows kind of who this person is. Everybody has a side of them, obviously, that we don't know always, but you can tell by a person's results in life what they're kind of able to share with you and show you. Mm -hmm. um, the, you know, so I think at the root of that, I think the second biggest thing when seeking a coach is relatability. Mm -hmm being able to relate and to feel comfortable and to feel no pressure. And when you know a coach is right, when you know it's the right fit, it's pretty much divine. And it just, you, you, you trust, you know, and that's something I've noticed a lot is the trust that people feel mm -hmm. that, you know, you're, you're, tr you're trusting your life, Ben. Okay. Right. Right. Well, um, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you so much. Um, mm -hmm. I, we're that's our time today okay. but um if joe if you'd be willing to just give your contact information one more time for those who would like to get in contact with you after seeing this that'd be great yeah but, yeah no awesome thank you so much for having me again my name is joe marina my company is glow with joe the best number you can reach me at is 801-864-9170 and my email is contact at glowwithjoe.com and then my website is www.glowwithjoe.com. That's G L O W I T H 
jo.com. Only one W. Thank you so much, Joe, once again for your time.